Hello, James here. Thank you for joining me for another video showing you how to get the most from your Mac. In this video, we'll be talking about the MacBook Pro Touch Bar and specifically about what to do when it's not working on your Mac. The Touch Bar was a short-lived feature on the MacBook Pro, loved by some, ignored by others. When it was introduced, it seemed like a great idea with the potential to make us all more productive. Sadly, it was never hugely popular, and five years after it was introduced in 2016, it was already being phased out. In case you're wondering what the touch bar is and what it does, it's a touch-sensitive strip along the top of the keyboard with buttons that aren't really buttons at all, but touchpads, whose function changes depending on what you're doing on your Mac. The bar is also a screen and displays the tools that are currently active. So for example, in a movie or music player, the buttons would be controls for playback, volume, etc. And in a photo editor, they would be editing controls. It looked cool, but not that many people used it. What to do if your touch bar is not working? So let's get to the point of the video. What to do if your touch bar isn't working? The first thing to check is your max temperature. Does it feel hot? Are the fans running? Some users have reported issues with the touch bar when their Mac gets hot. So if yours is hot, Take it somewhere cooler and try the touch bar again. Other possible causes of problems are software related, and that's good news because it means they can probably be fixed quite easily. The next thing you should do then is make sure the applications you use with the touch bar are up to date and check if there's an update to Mac OS. You can check for application updates in the app store or by clicking the app name menu in the app and choosing check for updates. You can check for a Mac OS update by clicking the Apple menu, choosing system settings, then going to General and Software Update. If there are updates available, install them. Check your keyboard settings. Okay, now we're up to date. The next step is to make sure your keyboard settings are set properly. Go to System Settings again and choose Keyboard. Look at the Touch Bar section. The drop-down menu should be set to App Settings and Show Control Strip should be checked. Restart your Mac. If you didn't update Mac OS and haven't restarted your Mac in a while, now's a good time to do it. That may just fix the problem. Carry out maintenance on your Mac. One thing that's always a good idea when you have problems on your Mac, and even when you don't, is to carry out maintenance tasks. There's a good chance they'll fix the problem, including where the touch bar is not working, and they'll keep your Mac running smoothly for longer. What do I mean by maintenance tasks? I mean things like running Mac OS maintenance scripts, freeing up RAM, and repairing disk permissions. The easiest way to run all of these tasks in one go is to use the maintenance module in Clean My Mac X. It's very fast and easy to use. There's a link in the description where you can download Clean My Mac X for free and try it for yourself. Reset the touch bar. Okay, we're now getting into the really technical stuff. Resetting the touch bar refreshes the processes that control it and can solve problems. You can either do it in Activity Monitor or Terminal. I'll show you both. Here's how to reset the touch bar in Activity Monitor. Go to Applications, Utilities, and double-click Activity Monitor to open it. Use the search bar to search for Touch Bar Server. When it appears, select it and click the X in the toolbar to stop it running. Quit Activity Monitor and Touch Bar Server will restart itself automatically. And here's how to reset the touch bar in Terminal. Go to Applications, Utilities, and Open Terminal. Type the following command and then press Return sudo pkill touch bar server. If you're asked for your admin password, type it in and press return. Quit terminal. Reset the SMC. If resetting the touch bar doesn't work, you can try resetting your Mac's system management controller, or SMC for short. It controls the power distribution to different parts of the Mac, including the touch bar. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac, you can skip this step because the SMC resets every time you boot your Mac. If you have an Intel Mac, the process is different depending on whether it has a T2 security chip or not, and whether it's a desktop or a laptop. You can find instructions for your Mac on Apple's website. The link is in the description. Reset NVRAM. NVRAM is the memory that remembers things even when your Mac is shut down. It's powered by a separate battery and helps your Mac boot up more quickly and return to the state it was in before you shut it down. Sometimes NVRAM can get itself in a bit of a mess and needs to be reset to fix problems. So it's worth trying as a way of fixing touch bar problems if nothing else works. Just like resetting the SMC, the process is different for different Macs. So we've put a link to Apple's website in the description so you can see how to do it for your Mac. And that's it. That's what to do if the touch bar is not working on your Mac. 
I hope one of the tips here worked and that your Max Touch Bar is now working properly. Thanks for reading. Don't forget to hit subscribe and join us for the next video.